let's go ahead and jump into our uh love the love element of things i really didn't get a lot of love messages but you know love messages is what i specialize in in my seven years of doing tarot love has always been my thing we have a queen of swords and we have a page of swords so both of these people we know are very much mental folks. They're very much thinkers. The Queen of Swords, this Queen of Swords is stuck on herself. She's sitting there. She she really is a hell of a commander and she's a leader in this relationship, this feminine we have, this Queen of Swords. But she's put a sword down so she can sit up there and look at herself. So we got some bad bitch energy going on over here. And this, this masculine here that's in a relationship, Page of Swords, he has his sword down as well, but that's because he's experiencing a spiritual attack that's out of this world while she's just sitting there looking at herself, paying no attention. So we got a bad bitch that is all about herself while her mate is out here getting tore the F up, okay? And we don't know what's going on or how this started. Um, okay, she wasn't always like this. We see the death card transformation coming through. She was not always like this. We're getting high Scorpio energy um she wasn't this lady when he got her and we see the devil page of swords this man has some vices and addictions and they are now kicking his ass these are the vultures that we see the vultures are coming for his ass his ass is on the line do y'all see this do y'all see it do y'all see what's going on i said the vultures are on his ass it's the truth it happens you know what i'm talking about um, he also has a bit of a sex addiction. We see here on this three of cups, he likes to drink. He likes to have sex. He is getting lost in the sauce, if you will. Seven of pentacles. Again, she's in bad bitch energy. These people are living very separate lives. Three of pentacles. This lady is really all about herself, her friends, the community, her money. She shops with a group of women, you know, that type of vibe. She's one of those girls. She does not have time for him. He's over here basically falling on his own sword in a, strength, in a sense. His vices have begun to take, take control of him. The sexual enjoyment, the, the, the liquor. Um, he's just bound by his addictions and they're, they're tearing him up. We see on the Four of Cups, these addictions, they have him in a position now where he's over himself. Do you know what that's like? When somebody is just like, I'm sick of me. Like, I can't get it together. I can't get myself on task. I can't get myself on point. Like, he's sick of himself. Yet, she is still just sitting here focused on herself. Okay? That's what she's, she preserved. She's about preserving her. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it confused. She's the type that when you ask her about her man, like, well, girl, what's going on with Doug? Because... I know he was, she's like, girl, I don't know what's going on with that dude. Girl, he's still drinking, I guess. I just, mm-mm. He come in and fall out on the couch. I just be in the back doing my uh, work from home situation. You know me. I'm about getting the bag. And then she going to show you her new shoes, child. She one of those. She don't have time. This man is about to go into a spiritual space, though. Meditation and answers because he's desperate to get out of the bind that he's in. Um. Her, she has endless patience with him because she's not paying attention, <laughs> like we just determined. Um, he's about to find romance outside, though, because he's looking to get out of this jam that he's in, and she just does not care to help him get out of it. Again, Rihanna. We got Rihanna came through. What's up, Rhi? She's in bad bitch energy. Um, if y'all not trying Fenty products, something is wrong with you because that Fenty uh, mascara, Fenty lipstick, Fenty everything, Rihanna is out here tearing it up in the makeup game. And I hear her draws are nice, even though I haven't tried them myself personally. But I hear that Rihanna is freaking it even on the panty drawers, okay? On the pantaloons. So if y'all not out here, just, I'm just letting y'all know. Like, Rihanna ain't paid me to, to endorse nothing, but I'm going to tell y'all what's going to make you look cute, okay? Seven of Swords. This man is going to sneak out of this relationship. This man is going to sneak out of this relationship. And we see gratitude. Honestly, she not finna have care. What it got to do with her? Can she still do what she needs to do? He has an awakening coming. First of all, I want y'all to notice something about the couple that we're reading for. Are you noticing that they're living two completely separate lives? Their lives have not shown any sign of being connected yet. They're both thinkers. We saw that with swords. Both all about mental energy. So both of these folks are just in their own head. They, are, they really could give a damn what's going on with the other. This is about the coldest relationship I've seen in a very long time. They have very limited interest in each other. Um, this woman here, Crystals, you know, she really is just all about finding support. Oh, for herself. I, just, just so y'all get that clear. She about her. She doesn't care what's going on with him. 
Knight of Swords. He's going to fight this battle himself spiritually and mentally, and he's going to win. Do y'all see how now the vultures, they are no longer uh, coming towards him. They are running from him. So he's going to kind of run these demons that he's had on his ass all this time. He's going to run them off himself. Well, she's basically just going to be doing her. You know, she's going to be communicating with people, commanding the winds. That brings us to communication. Talking to Kiki and with people, possibly even speaking with other men. He's going to be having faith in how to get his situation together. And she is going to find herself going into a dark space. Okay. We see her finding herself going into a, a dark space. I mean, this lady has nothing to do with him. A dark space. Um, as her relationship, she really realizes that it dies. Okay. We see the strength and the hangman. Um, she's so preoccupied with self. But she's going to realize... That has caused the death of her relationship. Okay. And this man really went his own way a long time ago. Okay. Um, even with his addictions, the sex addic addictions outside the house, outside the relationship. He also uh, was really somebody that was focused on other things. This relationship was never going to work. These people were never even that tied to each other. He was always, we see the devil card again. He was always tied to his vices more than anything else. He was all about the harvest of his own pleasures. He's never really been a relationship guy. Uh, how the hell did these people even end up together? Okay, we see the star. Because this is crazy. They don't really have anything much to do with each other. We see the star. We see the world. He was very fixated and fascinated on her. And that, okay, we did have a car flip over. That um, led to him chasing her. He just was very taken with this woman. And he spoiled this woman, but this woman really doesn't give a damn about him. And this relationship is about to be over, honey. These people barely have anything to do with each other. And when the relationship is over, it's going to be her that's left with the guilt because she realizes she literally paid no attention to her sponsor, okay? And he ended up just kind of imploding and then moving on with his life. So this relationship, y'all, this relationship, whatever masculine got free, <laughs> Got free from their vices. Congratulations. One of your vices was actually this woman, low-key. Because she didn't give a damn about you. She's just someone else you were addicted to. Probably for the sex. And because she seemed like a tough girl at first. Remember, she came into the situation. She she was all about, you know, she had her sword out. She was all on her queen of swords tea. Next thing you know, she's just sitting around looking in the mirror, hanging out with her friends, buying expensive shoes. So... This lady was just a part of your addictions and congratulations to you on being free of her because she never really cared. And she's really just mourning you because <laughs> now she doesn't have anybody to buy her shoes. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot T. I will see y'all in the next one.